Hydroxychloroquine is used by thousands and thousands of frontline workers so that hopefully they don't catch this horrible disease or whatever you want to call it. It's gotten a, a bad reputation only because I'm promoting it, so I'm obviously a very bad promoter. If anybody else were promoting it, they'd say this is the greatest thing ever. Should we go to what? Uh, okay, we'll go to the room first. Yeah. Talk about this being a negotiation. Has there been any movement from the other side to the negotiating table? Um, well, there will be. Well, we'll see. We had, I think public opinion uh, will be uh, very much our friend in all of this. Hydroxychloroquine is a drug that has been I in use for 65 years um, for lupus, arthritis, and malaria. The room? Okay. We'll be taking hydroxychloroquine uh, to look at its use as a prophylaxis. Um, I believe there's um, this is a new system that, uh, that the um, press gallery has said that we should be using. So this is your people <laughs> with this. Shall we go, please? <laughs> The FBI has known from the very beginning that the Russia hoax was just that. A hoax, but yet they continued to investigate President Trump for two years. When they found no evidence, the Democrats started trying to pro quid pro quo with Ukraine, when it was quid pro Joe Biden who blackmailed Ukraine to not investigate his son and the corrupt gas company that was paying him to do nothing at all. Why shouldn't the Republicans investigate those I'm crimes? So to do what? Investigate his son. And just to add to that, why do the Democrats always distract, deflect and project? Blackmail Ukraine. They always accuse the Republicans of things that they themselves usually seem guilty of. Do you think it's appropriate that President Trump have Congress hold hearing to investigate the crimes the same way they held hearings looking for dirt on him? You're asking me about the appropriateness of the actions of this President of the United States? so completely inappropriate in so many ways uh, that it's almost a given. It's like a child who comes in with mud on their pants or something. It, that's the way it is. They're outside playing. That's what it, He comes in with doggy do on his shoes, and everybody who works with him has that on their shoes, too, for a very long time to come. So I don't know. I hear doctors talk to me about saying, uh, uh, you know, what's the matter with him, uh, uh, the things he says are so inappropriate for a president of the United States. The comments he makes about women, the comments he makes about women, so inappropriate. So no, I don't think it's appropriate, but again, there's a market for it, obviously, and that's what he plays to. What is, there's a word somebody used to me, uh, they said you would understand it better if you knew what a confabulator is. Confabulator? Confabulator is. Look up the word confabulator. Somebody just really doesn't even know what the truth is. And just says anything. And because he says it, then he believes it. But this, you know what? Forget about him. Uh, anybody? No? No? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Given what you just said about the president and his administration, how are you confident that you are going to be able to come together? The two of you have been exchanging pretty strong criticism in the last few days. How does that help negotiating another deal? Well, I, I didn't um, say anything about the president. I, I gave him a dose of his own medicine. He's called women uh, one thing or another over time. And I, I thought he thinks that passes off his humor in certain cultures. And I thought that was what that was. And I was only quoting what doctors had said about him. So I was being factual in a very sympathetic way. I said, he's our president. We don't want our president taking something that could be dangerous, as the scientists have said it could be. If he takes offense at that, well, I could take offense at a lot of things, but they don't really mean that much to me. But again, a dose of his own medicine. Thank you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be here back around the same time tomorrow. Yes, we have some other things to share with you tomorrow. Thank you so much.
And just as a final question, I, Madam Speaker, I just want to go back to uh, your reference earlier today to uh, what you called uh, doggy do on the shoes, and you said yeah. that that that. That's on the shoes of all the people who are working uh, with Donald Trump. Uh, one of the people who seems to have something on his shoe is Mike Pompeo. I, 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 I.